seven steps to making a decision in a relationship. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Uh, it's funny, actually, where this came from, the seven steps. Uh, it was given to me because uh, people know in my background in financial services, and then also because of the kind of conversations that we have, you know, that it was talking about decisions, and they're kind of getting my opinion on that. But it actually came from a bankruptcy court. I mean, course. And um, the person was asking me about how did I feel about these seven steps. But, and we went through, it was pretty cool, but it, well, you can tell because I'm getting ready to use the seven steps, but use them as it relates to an, a relationship. And the first one was identify the desired on, outcome. Number two, gather information. Three, identify your choices. Four, evaluate those choices. Five, select the best choice. Six, execute the best choice. Seven, evaluate the results. So we'll go through real quick and give how that actually holds true inside of a relationship. Number one, identify the desired outcome. You guys hear me all the time talking about what is a date? I had a young man uh, today, one of the young men that I mentor, and um, he wanted to go shoot around, shoot some baskets, which we did. And uh, I wasn't playing because we don't, I'm, I'm not in that shape right now to be talking about playing some ball, but we were just shooting around. And, um, but that was a date. Why? We set a time, we made it happen. Um, our society, unfortunately, has made a date seem like it's, it's sexually driven. Um, it has to be someone that I'm looking to be in an intimate relationship with. And not just something where we could just hang out and actually enjoy each other. And that's really what I'm trying to get people to understand is if we can learn how to actually date, which means where I'm talking about here, knowing the outcome, which is to actually go out and enjoy our life and enjoy day to day. Hopefully people with all the stuff that's going on right now in our society, that people are realizing what's important. Can we just get out? Um, we were just talking about this uh, a couple of days ago where now it's even laughter. It's becoming so rare. It's like everybody is so serious and so, I mean, and most of it's because everybody keeps sitting in front of their TV and watching all this news and stuff and all the crazy stuff that's going on. But it's almost like laughter has become so foreign and it's unfortunate. And so if we can hopefully learn from this and learn that, can we just get out and enjoy life, enjoy people? And not put all these restrictions and not everyone you hang out with, there has to be an agenda. Or if you're going to have an agenda, let the agenda be we're just going to have fun. And not that I'm out with you to see if you're going to be my wife or my husband. Um, just enjoy each other. And we'll see where that leads. But anyway, that's where it's saying identify the desired outcome. Hopefully... Most people will learn that it's just to just go out and enjoy this journey. That's why we're actually here. That's the real purpose of life. We came here to actually experience being a human being. And hopefully most of that is, is in a joyful uh, manner. The gather information, which is number two. That's kind of when we get into um, the list that we, you guys know I've talked about before. But I see the gathering of information as far as what you're looking for. If we are talking to dating, we, 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 the outcome is we're looking for a relationship. And, and, it, and again, it doesn't have to be an intimate sexual relationship. It, it could be we still just certain people we want to hang out with. We still want to get clear on that. Um, but if we are looking for that intimate you know, relationship, we do want to gather information. What is it that we're looking for? And past relationships can actually help you get that list together because a lot of times when you ask people what is it that they're looking for they're, they're just kind of stuck they're like i don't really know same thing if you tell them what do you like about yourself most people go i don't know but ask them what they don't like about themselves or in this case relationships what is it that you don't want in a relationship people can write a book because unfortunately, we live in an environment where most people's, most of the thoughts, I forgot, I, I heard it was like, we have 70,000 thoughts and, and I forgot the number, but I think it's like 90% of those are repeat 
conversations and they're negative. Man, that's pretty scary. So we got to learn to take control of those thoughts and try to put more of them in our favor. So in this case, with the list, let's figure out what we're looking for in a partner. And you guys, again, know once you get the list together, for me, I believe the, gist, the list is for you when you get through. Because now you get to realize chances are pretty good. There could be exceptions to the rule, but chances are pretty good. When you get through with the list, you don't qualify for the person that you're looking for. Because again, if you did, you'd be with them. Now, this is not a negative. This is not to attack. This is just saying, let's get real. When you get that list together, you all of a sudden start to change the things that you do. Because if you put down there, I'm looking for someone who's into their body and healthy, then I got to quit eating at the fast food restaurants and start shopping at healthy food stores and, and start eating at healthy restaurants. And guess who's there? People that are looking to take care of their health. See where I'm saying? We're putting ourselves in the right environment, not to catch. Because again, as human beings, we pick up on each other's vibes. So if you're there to catch, we're going to pick that up. And for most, that's a turnoff. But if you put yourself in the environment of something that you enjoy, one, you're going to have fun just because you enjoy doing it. But the main thing also, well, I shouldn't say the main thing, but also in addition to that, you're putting yourself in the environment in order to attract the people that you say you want in your life because you're putting yourself in the environment. Then number three, identify your choices, which is where actually am I going to go to make this, a hap uh, make this happen, which is kind of what we just said. If you want the healthy food stores, I mean healthy body, it makes sense to hang out at the healthy food stores. But we do want to get a list kind of going of where is it that we're going to find these people because we're getting clarity. Where are these people hanging out? What are these people doing? Because that's going to also help us, again, make the adjustments in ourselves. Because, again, I need to start riding my bike a little bit more. I need to exercise a little bit more if that's what I'm looking for, right? So we have to identify where do we go in order to find people that are doing these type of things. Number four, we're going to evaluate the choices. Find out which one of those are going to get us the best results. Because once we get clear, we ain't gonna, chances are we can't go to all of them. But let's evaluate which ones are going to give us the best option and why. Why are we going there? And what I want to uh, hit real quick before I even uh, I wanted to go in that gathering uh, information, which was number two. When you're in that process of gathering information, make sure you ask the question, why are am I putting this on my list? You know, as far as certain qualities that you're looking for in an individual. Why is that on the list? The pros and cons. Because we don't want to just put a list together just to put a list. Why am I putting this? Why? What is the significance of this being on my list? And do I absolutely have to have it here? Yeah, follow. That's the reason we're going through this because... We got to decide on if what we're putting on the list is red flags, deal breakers. I was having the conversation with a gentleman tonight and we were talking about texting and he's having a challenge in his relationship because he doesn't like the way the texts are coming across to him from his girlfriend. And I was saying, I know you ain't going to let texting <laughs> get in the way of your relationship. Now, I'm not saying, and, and that's what he and I agree on. That's not saying good, bad, right, or wrong, because what I think is important and what he thinks is important doesn't have to be the same, because we all have the right to our own perspective. But my thing is, you have to decide for yourself. Is this important? Is it a red flag? Is it a deal breaker? And if it's not, Take it off the list. The reason I say that is because the longer you make that list when you're making one, the longer it is, the less chance you have of ever finding a person. Now, I know some people go, man, you can make that list and that person. Can. It ain't going to happen. Trust me. No one is going to fit a long list. Why? Because you're basically, when you do that list, you're looking for a person that's finished. We're all in the process. 
all the time. So you just want to make sure there's people that are in the process and you got to understand what on that list is not in the process because there's some things that that's a given. Like I said, she ain't drinking. That's not an in the process. That's a red flag. That's a deal breaker. If it's a deal breaker, we need to have that on there. We, we clear on that. We ain't, we not budging on that. The other stuff, the reason I said take it off the list, because those are things you can work through. Those are things that that we can we can talk through again. The two keys: accept people as they are, and then the second one is communication. I accept you as you are. There's no red flags. There's no deal breakers. Communication will address all the other stuff. So we were on that number four, which is evaluate the choices. Figure out based on what you came up with where is the best place for me to go to find the people that I say that I'm looking to be in a relationship with. And again, it doesn't always have to be intimate sexual partners. There's certain people I just want to surround myself with and put in my life. Let's evaluate the places that we're hanging out and the things that we're doing and see, are they serving us? And if so, that's which was number, number five, let's select the best choices. The ones that are going to get us those things we say that we desire. And surround ourselves with the people we say we want in our life. Because if you don't do this, then you become a wanderer, which is where most people live. They're just hoping that the right people show up, that they end up in the right place, and that life just works. Folks, you have to take control of this and make it turn out. Um, you guys have heard the analogy of you are the writer of your story. If you're writing your story, how can you just sit back and don't put anything on the paper and expecting it to turn out the way you desire? I, I'm, not even, I'm not even putting down, I'm not even sitting back and thinking how I actually want it to happen. I'm just hoping it's going to all work out. I don't know how I want it to work out, but it, it should all be good. Let's plan it out. Let's, let's figure out what it is that we want. Let's go make it happen. Number six, of course, is you got to execute it. It's one thing for us to put in the time and effort, plan it, which most people <laughs> have a good tendency to do in life, is they'll come up with a great game plan. They ain't going to never take no action. And that's, again, the difference between those that get what they want out of life and those that don't. It's not that they don't that people don't go through the same challenges. We all have options. I mean, uh, obstacles that come in our life, different challenges. Everyone has a story. The difference, as we're talking about here, decisions, decisions is the difference in people's lives. That's it. It's just the decisions. So if you don't like the results that you're getting in your life, make different decisions. And we're doing that here by saying, let's get clear what we're looking for, where we're hanging out. And then number seven, evaluate the results. If we're not keeping track on whether it's working or not, which most people don't, we continue to go back to the same spots. We continue to look after for the same type of person. We get the same kind of results. And then we act shocked and say, I don't know why all men are this way. I don't understand why women are this way. I don't understand. Folks, it's not them. It's you. We have to take responsibility for our lives and say, if I don't like what's showing up, I'm not blaming them. Again, I can't keep going to the bar and blaming the women that are in the bar that they drink. That's a choice. They have the right to that choice. But I also have the choice to go somewhere else if that's not who I'm looking for. Does that make sense? So I have to evaluate to see Am I making the right choices? Because I know the results are, because everything has, I, I use the example of a, a, a cake. Because people talk about, uh, um, you know, the way things are, it's, it's accidents or, because I don't believe in that. I believe everything has, everything happens on purpose. And by that I'm saying, if I put certain ingredients in a cake, I cook it at a certain temperature. I put it in a certain pan that has a dent in it. That cake is going to come out a certain way. 
That's perfect. That's perfect. The world will say, no, that's not perfect because it got a dent in its back. No, no, that's perfect. Because based on what I put in there, all the ingredients, the, 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 the time, the, you know, say everything, it came out the way it's supposed to based on the input that was put in there. That's why you hear garbage in, garbage out, same concept. Because if I do the exact same thing, same ingredients, same temperature, same pan with a dent, I'm going to get the exact same cake. Why? Because it's perfect. It comes out, those results, this is, if you take certain action, this is the results that are going to show up. Folks, it's the same way with everything that we do and our relationships are no exception. If we keep doing the exact same things and we don't stop, start to make different decisions, and that's really the whole purpose of this video and this and talking these seven steps, is for us to say, okay, I'm going to take some time out. Let me evaluate this. As we said, first, let me just decide what it is that I want. What's the desired outcome? Again, two, I'm going to gather the information. I'm putting together my list. Three, I'm going to identify those choices, which means where is it that I need to be hanging out? And I'm going to evaluate those choices and see what's the best one based on the ones I come up with. And once I evaluate them, I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to execute it. And then I'm going to evaluate the results. And then... Make adjustments if necessary. Because if I'm getting the result that I want, then you better keep doing what you're doing. It's when the results aren't working, we need to make adjustments. But that's only if we recognize, instead of blaming other people, we stop, pause. Remember, that's the difference in us and animals. We have the ability to pause because animals live in a stimulus response world, which means things happen, they just respond. Unfortunately, most of us live that kind of life where that's where we are, things happen, we just respond. But what makes us different is we do have the ability to pause, which means we can take a time out, we can stop, we can think things through, and that's really the whole purpose of this. Let's stop, plan this out, and execute the plan to get the results that we say we want. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it is my opinion. Now, for those of you who we talk on self-love, I look forward to talking to you on Monday, on Self-Love Monday. For those of you we still talking about getting our relationships and stuff together, I'm going to see you next Thursday on Relationship Thursday. But take the time. Go through the seven steps. It was just actually funny when I saw it, and, it, and, and especially because of what it was related to. But I was like, man, you can use these same seven steps inside of a relationship. Take the time. Gather the data evaluate it, check out the results. Let's go make it happen. I'm sending out the best wishes for you and yours. And as you know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and enjoy the journey. Bye-bye.